What's going on YouTube and today we're, go we're going to do the last challenge in Enter to the Blue Team series. The challenge name is Ransom and if you click on that we read the description. So it says we received an email from Microsoft support recommending that we apply a critical patch to our Windows servers. A system administrator downloaded the attachment from the email and ran it. And now all our company data is encrypted. Can you help us decrypt our files? So it's clear that the company has been infected or plagued with ransomware infection. A ransomware is a piece of malware that once installed on your PC, it will encrypt all of the file system or specific files within specific paths, depending on the configuration that the malware developer has specified while writing the malware so sometimes the ransomware decrypts the whole file system you won't be able to access the pc sometimes it only decrypts it only encrypts specific directories or files so that's our job now so also if you note from the email that they received email from microsoft support and this is also an indication that the it's not only a ransomware infection it's also a phishing uh, attempt or successful phishing attempt as we can say phishing attack so phishing attacks sometimes are combined with malware infections not only phishing attacks are uh, you know tailored to uh, steal the credentials sometimes it's tailored to actually infect computers so basically what we can do here is to go down on the files once we download the files we will be presented with two files here so the first one is windows update and the next one what seems to be an encrypted excel sheet so in order to know what happened we need to decrypt the excel sheet here okay and find out what windows update executable does so we have to do some reversing it's not going to be that hard as you will see in the video now so what we can do now first let's start with the command line and from here we can say we can cd to the directory of ls cd ransom okay so file login okay file windows next one is an executable file okay so we open windows update with ghidra okay i speed things up because it takes some time to analyze the file so basically I'm gonna run the code browser now and this is the source code of the executable so the first thing that we're going to do guys is to analyze the main function analyzing the main function of any executable or binary help us understand the main points or the main functions or the main objective of this function or the binary so we go to main here and this is the main function so let's take a look at the main function here so we have two arguments okay and if the number of arguments supplied by the user is equal to one okay it will default or set the value the value of the local 10 to c users this is the default uh, path if the user has supplied only one argument or it will just ask the user to provide the two arguments as you can see the file name so basically it takes the input from the user or if the user doesn't supply an input it's a it actually sets the path to c users so this means that the ransomware here encrypts the file encrypts the files in c users by default so let's now look for the function that actually does the encryption so we can search for the function just by using intuition right right encrypt here and we have two functions encrypt and encrypt file let's take a look at encrypt file again encrypt file as you can see it reads one parameter which is the file and this is the line that's responsible for encrypting the file and then it writes a new file the new file that's written is the encrypted version of the file as you can see it calls a function called encrypt now let's go to encrypt now to analyze the function so we have three variables local 17 local f local d and local c and we have here hex values for local 17, local f, and local d. We can take a look at these values. Clicking on this one. 
So I see here we, the char seems to be S E R S E S R E P U S. So this is the character correspondence of this hex value. And the same here, guys. You see this one? R U. And here we have E. Okay, now. In encryption we need a key right to encrypt the files so basically this is the function that encrypts the files so basically we have a for loop here okay it starts at zero okay local c equal to zero and it iterates until it reaches the value of parameter 2 so parameter 2 seems to be a long decimal value here okay so we have a for loop here and for every every time it iterates through the values it does actually set the value of local c and parameter one the parameter one is the file that's being encrypted by the way it's adding the file to zero okay and then as you can see local 17 addition to local c addition to local c plus parameter one so what happens here guys in the for loop is that every time the for loop iterates it adds the value of the file plus the next uh, bytes of the key so the key is composed of these three values local 17 f and d it iterates the, the, the complete loop through every byte of the key and add it to the file and then write the new result to the encrypted file that's how it works now in order to decrypt the file or to decrypt the uh, Excel sheet guys the Excel sheet is one sample of the encrypted files that we have to decrypt we have to find the key here okay finding the key and then we have to find out how the files are encrypted so as you can see we have here addition so to decrypt them we have to use the subtraction okay now finding the key is easy if you go to uh, the terminal and type file windows update uh, string sorry let's see if we have this weird looking string that we saw earlier okay so nothing in here let's try with the encrypted excel sheet okay here we go so take a look at this super super secure and then we have s f p e r the same here guys but it's reversed secure s u and we have super so these are the same <coughs> the same <coughs> string that we encountered in ghidra right so these are the values if you remember these values as you can see it's the same string but it's reversed and the same thing here are you and here but why it's reversed and repeated throughout the program this is because of the for loop it's adding the every bytes <coughs> on its own with the file during the encryption that's why we see here several uh repetitions of this string super secure super secure everywhere so to decrypt the file let's use cyberchef so opening the browser now and we hit to cyberchef we have the key super secure and we have the way that we will all the algorithm that we will use to decrypt the excel sheet so we go to cyberchef first thing let's provide the input as a file the input will be the excel sheet okay and the recipe can be subtraction the key is super secure let's see here bake hex let's put utf8 Okay, let's go over the output. 
so we have this styles XML we're looking for the word or we're looking for the string Excel or a worksheet yeah so we have it so this means that the file has been decrypted what we have to do now is to download the file by going to save output file 2 and name it xlsx extension opening the file now Worksheet. Okay, I'm gonna go open this in my Windows. I'm not, I don't want to deal with that in the virtual machine. So going here, downloads. And there you go, guys. Username Alan, and this is the password. We have some users and some passwords for you know bank accounts. And lastly, we have the flag so that is the challenge guys just simple reversing understanding how the encryption function works and you get the challenge done so that's it guys i hope you like that and by now we have finished the intro to the blue team path i hope you guys found that helpful and beneficial and hopefully in the next upcoming videos we will start with another track if you have some suggestions you can put that in the video description and thank you for watching.